Hi friends, it is said that children are angels sent to us from heaven because their heart is so pure and unselfish and that we can often learn from them a lesson or two about how to be a better person and their simple, innocent actions and kind words can melt any stony heart. Sadly, it happens that some little angels leave us too soon and that's what our story will be about. A woman named Ruth Scully didn't know how hard it would be for her to look at her bathroom rug. Many would think, well, what could be so unusual about it? But to Ruth, this rug represents love for her son. Nolan Scully couldn't be without his mother because he had soft tissue cancer. So, when his mother would take a shower, he would lie on this very rug. It all started with the usual nasal congestion that nobody pays much attention to. At first, the boy was just sniffling, but eventually it turned out to be a sign of a terrible diagnosis. One night, he felt bad and his parents took him to the hospital, where he was soon prescribed antibiotics, salt spray and moisturizer, but this did not help and after some time, Nolan's adenoids were swollen, after which he had surgery and had his tonsils removed. It seemed that everything was over. There were no more problems, but when doctors tested the boy's adenoid tissue, the results were sad. It turned out that Nolan was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, a soft tissue cancer, and an urgent treatment had to be started. Months of radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and painful treatment seemed to work in Nolan's favor as he began a slow recovery and his parents saw a ray of hope and even created a Facebook page for him to document his journey and inspire other children like Nolan. Every post, every photo of him tangled in tubes and surrounded by medical equipment had one thing in common. Nolan's warm smile, his eyes shining with faith and hope and his unwavering spirit. But it did not last long because after the next examination, the oncologist found out that the cancer was not only was not receding, but had also reached the point of no return, after which the doctors told the parents that they had to tell their little angel about it. When Ruth asked Nolan if he was in pain, he replied that he was indeed in pain, but that he would continue to fight for her sake. Ruth heard her heart break and she whispered quietly, Honey, I can't take away your pain anymore. The only way to ease it is in heaven. But Nolan's answer made mommy cry. Okay, mommy, I will go to heaven and play there until you and daddy join me, the boy replied, unwavering in his acceptance of the news of his imminent death. All those who knew Nolan, who knew his story, prayed for the boy, but it was too late. On February 4th, 2017, the day came when the boy was ready to leave this world and go to heaven. Needless to say, no parent can prepare and set up for this because it is very painful and difficult to let go of their own child. The medical staff began to consider the most acceptable option for finishing the chemotherapy. The family was about to take the baby home to spend the last days together, when suddenly Nolan took his mother's hand and quietly said, Mommy, it's okay, let's stay here, I'm not scared. Ruth didn't leave Nolan's side for the next few hours, and when she asked her boy if she could take a shower for a minute and if he would be able to stay without her, he answered with a nod. And when the woman got out of the shower, she was told that the child had a sharp drop in the level of oxygen and he fell into a coma. Ruth couldn't believe that Nolan had left without saying goodbye to her. She lay down beside her son. This went on for several minutes, after which a small miracle occurred. The equipment showed activity again and the boy woke up, as it would turn out later, for only four words. He smiled, opened his eyes, and said, I love you, mommy. Then his eyes closed forever. Those were the last words of a strong little boy who fought with dignity, a little angel with a big heart. He will always be remembered not only by his parents, but also by those who witnessed his journey. Later, his mother wrote on Facebook, I am one of those who is afraid to take a shower. Now the rug where my son was waiting for me will always be empty. It's hard to put into words what a mother who lost her son is going through. But his smile and last words will forever remain in my memory and will warm my soul until we meet again in heaven. Friends, just take care of yourself and your loved ones. Talk to you soon.